Welcome to Macro Goals, get golfers moving. Now in these videos, we're just gonna try and get you up off the seat and doing some kind of movement, some kind of exercise to break up that sitting. So we're gonna move through a few stretches, a few movements, but the idea is to get the blood flow going and get those muscles working a little bit. The idea is not to get you really out of breath and really sweaty, that's not the purpose of these sessions. The purpose is just to get your body back moving and try and regain some of that function, some of that movement that you might have lost from that period of sitting down. So we're always, with these sessions, we're gonna start on our backs, then we're gonna work through into kind of onto our knees and then end in a standing position. So what you're gonna need for this is a comfortable mat like this one or just a comfortable surface to lay down, even a carpet. So we're gonna start on our backs. And from here, we're just gonna take a few deep breaths. So when we sat down for long periods, our breathing starts to get a little bit shallow and our hormones start to kick off to think that we're in trouble and we need to do a fight and flight situation. So we're just gonna really take some deep breaths and I want to focus on taking those breaths from deep within the diaphragm, deep within the stomach. I want to see your stomach rise and fall as you breathe. So you can put your hands onto your stomach and as you can take a deep breath in, feel your hands put away from each other as you breathe, breathe really, really deep. And as you breathe out, you can make noise as you do this breathing. So we're going to take five or six deep breaths here. start to control your thoughts away from your work away from all the problems just focus for these next 10 or 15 minutes or so one more big deep breath here Now you're going to take your left leg and you're going to cross it over the top of your right leg. So your left ankle is going to come on top of your right thigh. And either using your hand or just with your conscious thought, you're going to drive that left knee out and away from you. So you're going to get a little bit of a stretch on your left glute here. So just driving that left knee away. But trying to keep that breathing deep from the diaphragm, come deep into the belly. You really want to feel your belly rise and fall as you breathe. And then you're going to drop everything over to the right-hand side. So your left foot now is going to be planted on your right-hand side. And you can get a small little twist coming into the back. So try and keep both shoulder blades pinned to the mat or pinned to the ground. We're still trying to ease that left knee away. And we're still breathing deep from the middle of the stomach. Should now feel that stretch move to the outside of the left thigh. Still trying to push that left knee away. Two more breaths here. And bring it back to the middle. So you can put your left foot back down onto the mat now. And now we're gonna put the right foot onto the left leg. And again, we're just easing that right knee away to get a stretch in the right glute. It's really important that you maintain this breathing all the way throughout. This is one of the biggest things that will get ruined if you're sat down for too long. So the idea is to really regain full deep breaths. And some of these kind of tricks that you'll learn from these sessions, you can then implement when you are sitting down to try and counteract that as well. So I'm gonna drop everything over to the left hand side. So everything drops over. And now we're thinking about pushing that right knee out and away from us. Again, really deep breaths. And your fluid stretch coming to the outside of the right thigh. Two more deep breaths here, really breathing deep into the belly. And bring it back to the middle. Now we're going to start to get a little bit of movement from the lower body. Now you've got two options here. You can do this either with one leg, which is a lot harder, or you can do it with two legs. So if you're going to do it with two legs, you're going to tuck your feet under, and the idea is you're going to try and push your hips as high up to the sky as you can. Hold them for five seconds, and then lower back down to the mat. So you're going to push all the way up to the sky, and this position with both legs. If you're going to do it with one leg, you're going to put your knees together, and just push with one leg up and squeeze, okay? So you're going to do five seconds, 
and you can repeat this twice. So if you're doing it on both on one leg, you do one leg five seconds, the other leg five seconds. With both feet, you do five seconds, relax, and five seconds. So I'm gonna do one leg, so we're gonna do three, two, one, push up, and then contracting for five deep breaths. Keep squeezing, really squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings at this point. Really trying to drive your hips up to the sky. Slowly lower back down and move on to the other leg. If you're doing both legs, it's both legs again. Drive up, really driving the hips, really drive the hips. Squeeze the glutes. Three, two, one, and take a rest there. So now I'm gonna come all the way up onto a, uh, a seated position. So to do this, we're gonna grab the top of our thigh, uh, top of our shins, and we're just gonna rock backwards and forwards a few times, just to give ourselves a little bit of self-massage into the lower back. And then on the next row, we're gonna come all the way up into a seated position. Now from here, we're just gonna work a little bit of a rotation coming across the back from the hips. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the left hand, cross it over your right knee, and then you're gonna turn really face away from you. What I don't want you to do is collapse over like this, really nice, straight, tall posture, and then turn nice and proud to look behind you. Again, really trying to take those deep breaths from within the belly. And you'll find with every deep breath you take, with every exhale, you probably just can turn that a little bit further. Slowly unwind from there, relax that left hand very slowly, we're going to swap onto the right side. So right hand comes over left knee, left hand comes back, nice tall posture, we're not collapsing over, nice tall posture, turn it behind. Still breathing deep in the belly. One more breath here. And slowly down one. Then we're going to come all the way up to all fours. So you spin your feet under and around. Now this is a really fundamental position that as adults we don't really spend much time in. Um, probably don't spend much time in this position since we were babies. So from here it's a really fundamental uh, aspect that we can control our core and our body from this point. A lot of these muscles will switch off if they sat down for too long. So we're just going to spend a little bit of time in this position. So from here, what I want you to do is get a nice even base for the feet, the knees and the hands and feel really, really solid in this position. Now from here, nothing else in this part of your body in your trunk is going to move at all. Hips are going to stay completely straight, facing down to the floor. And all I want you to do is take one hand, create a fist, and drive it out ahead of you. Really squeezing this fist nice and tight, contracting the core really tight, keeping the hips facing down. With your core, you want to feel like you're just about to take a punch. So really bracing and contracting. Slowly lower back down to the mat and swap sides. Contract that fist, contract the core. Activate all of those muscles that would have gone lazy when you sat down. Go and repeat on the other hand. You should really feel this activate and really feel this working if you're consciously bracing. And back to the other hand. Now we're gonna get the next, uh, next challenge. It's gonna do right hand and left foot. So you're gonna take both out at the same time. So you really need to engage your core to start off with. And then you're gonna take that left hand out, right heel, you're gonna drive as far behind you as you can. The idea is not to lift it as high as possible, the idea is to reach as far as possible and be as solid as you can in the hips. Three, two, one. Now you're gonna keep them there and then you're gonna try and bring your elbow to your knee, try and keep the solid core as possible and then drive it back out. One more time, nice 
nice and slow. And back out. Then we'll start with the left side. So left hand and right foot. Gain that position, straight up the hips. And then you're gonna go left hand out, right foot. Again, the idea is not to lift really high. The idea is to stretch and contract that core as much as you can. Back into the middle and back up. Last contract and squeeze. And take a rest there. Now, we're going to start to go into a little bit more deep stretching into the hips. So we're going to do probably one of my favourite stretches ever. So we're going to start on all fours. You're going to shift your hands very slightly to the right hand side of your mat. And then you're going to bring your left foot up to your hands to come into this lunge position, okay? Now, if this is enough of a stretch for you, then stay in this position, okay? And you can work everything else from this position that we're going to do. If you feel like you can go a little bit further, then what you need to do is tuck your back toe under and lift this back leg off the ground, okay? So the most important thing is this left foot will remain completely on the mat the whole time. So if you want, you can actually put your left hand on that foot to keep it pinned down. Now from this position, we get a really nice stretch in the hip flexor on the right hand side and the glute on the left, and we can rock a little bit further forward if we want to get a little bit of stretch in the left calf. But what we need to do from here is work on contracting and relaxing the glutes. So we're just gonna contract them for three seconds. So you're gonna squeeze both glutes Ready now, three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna do the same again. We're gonna squeeze, three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna do this two more times. Squeeze, three, two, one, relax. And the last one, squeeze, three, two, one, relax. Stay in this position now. What we need to do is now walk your hands over to your right hand side. So if you put the knee on the ground, that's absolutely fine. You can keep the knee there. If you can, lift that back knee off. Now, we're thinking about pulling our belly button and our chest all the way over to the right hand side and moving ourselves away from this left leg. So you can get really into a deep stretch in this position. Really trying to deep, breathe deep from that belly button as well. I'm gonna stay here for three, two, one, and now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to move ourselves around and face our belly button and our chest to this left leg. You can actually give that left leg a hug if you want to. Coming back around now, you're going to put your left hand on the mat, and you can take your right hand up and face it to the sky if you can. You can take it all the way back down. Twist over and open up again. One more time. And take a rest there. Knee can go down if your knee wasn't down. Other foot come all the way back. And now we're going to swap sides. Hands move over to the left hand side. Right foot comes up this time. And again, if this is enough of a position and a stretch for you, stay here. If not, back leg comes up. And we come into that deep stretch again. So from here we're going to go into our glute contractions. So we're going to squeeze now. Three, two, one, and relax. When you're, when you're squeezing this glute, you really want to think about driving that knee out as well. So we're going to squeeze again. Three, two, one, relax. Two more times. We're going to squeeze. Three, two, one, and relax. Last one, squeeze. Three, two, one, and relax. Now you're going to move your hands over to the left hand side this time, and you're thinking about putting your belly button and your chest over to the left. Again, trying to keep that right foot on the floor. You can do some more glute contractions here if you want to. Really trying to keep that breathing. And then you're going to move your hands over to the right hand side. Again, you can give that knee a hug if you want to. The idea is you're trying to pull yourself over to the right now. 
Again, really deep breaths here. And then final one, that hand can go down. And if you want, you can go into some rotations. If you don't want to do the rotations, you can just stay in this position and just move around here. If you're struggling with your balance, or even if you put the leg down and you just want to relax in this position, that's absolutely fine. So if you are doing the rotations, you can do one more rotation from now, and then come down and take a rest. So you're gonna move all the way back down into your all fours position, walk your feet in, and come into a resting pose. So that was quite challenging, that stretch, so you need a little bit of a rest after that. So from here, just shift the hips around. If you want to tuck your toes under, if that's uncomfortable, that's fine. Now we're going to move on to our final part of this session, which is a little bit of exercise standing up. So we do a few movements now from a standing position. We just work a little bit on some single leg exercises. So I'm going to give you a few different options for these exercises you're going to do. So the first one is going to be like a reverse lunge, but you can also make it into a single leg squat. So we're going to do three repetitions on each leg. So this is your first option, which is the easier one. Is you can come all the way back, touch the toes to the ground, lightly touch the knees to the ground, and then drive back up. Really thinking about keeping a nice upright torso. This is option number one. Option number two, if you're brave enough, you can take the foot completely off the ground and only touch the knee. So you're gonna drop down, knees gonna to touch, and then you're gonna pop up. Okay, so that's option number two, the harder one. So we're gonna do now three repetitions together, regardless of which exercise you're gonna do. So we're gonna do three reverse lunge or single leg squat. So you come down to one, two, but if you were doing the harder one, toe up, Touch the knee and drive up. Okay, we're going to repeat on the second leg now. Down. Good. A little bit more single leg now, working on the posterior chain. So we're going to come into a superman position now. If you're struggling with this position, I'd recommend having something in front of you or to the side of you that you can hold on to. But it's a real fun one to try and challenge yourself and just make sure you've got nothing around you that's going to hurt you. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up onto one leg. So I'm going to start on the right leg. So I'm going to bring my left knee up in front of me, okay? My hands are going to go out ahead. And now this knee is going to drop all the way behind me. And my hands are going to push out in front as I come in. And try and make my body into a nice straight line. Come all the way back up. Drive the knee. And back out. So we're going to do five of these for now if you want to join me. There's one. Two. Three. Two more. Four. And last one. Five. Okay, we're gonna repeat that on the second leg. So I'm gonna come to my left leg now. Right foot comes up. We're gonna drive out and back. We're really trying to make ourselves as long as possible. Same as when we're on our knees. That's two. Try and keep the hips facing down as well. Same as that last position. Three. Four. Last one. And five. Great. Guys, well done for today. That is your kind of get up and go for golfers. Taking you from that laying down position, really regaining some of that breathing that you would have lost, getting you up into a crawling position like you were a baby, and finally ending how you should be in a standing position. Well done for getting it done today. Um, hopefully you're not too out of breath, too tired, and hopefully you don't need to go and have a shower. You can kind of just take a little minute, regain your breath, and get back to work for the rest of the day. There'll be plenty more videos like this, so I hope to see you on the next video.